Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Got a simple little project to do today. Our TV in our van is 230 volt mains. It runs off of our inverter. We looked at buying some 12 volt DC TVs at the time, but we weren't really that impressed with the quality of them. So we ended up buying this Samsung Smart TV. It's got internet, it's got all of the catch up services. You can even watch YouTube on it. So it does everything that we want it to do. The only downside is we always have to have the inverter on when we want to use it. So it's not very economical. The TV actually only works off 19 volts DC. So what we're doing is we're taking our battery power, the inverter's converting it to 230 volt to, to feed a plug that's in the cupboard up here. And then there's a transformer on that plug, which then brings it back down to 19 volts DC. So it's a really inefficient way of doing it. So what we've done is I've bought a transformer that will take the 12 volts DC up to 19 volts DC and that way we can power the TV without having to run the inverter. Let me show you what's involved. So this is our Samsung Smart TV. If we have a look at the back of the TV where the data panel is, hopefully you can see that if it will focus. Just here it says DC 19 volts, two and a half amps, typical power 26 watts. So it's pretty efficient really. It's only 26 watts to power this TV and it's 19 volts DC. So we don't necessarily need to run it off the main. So that's what we're gonna do. So that's the main transformer that comes with the TV. Three pin plug there obviously, plugs into AC socket, 230 volt. And then inside that little box is the transformer that converts it from 230 volt AC to 19 volts DC to supply the TV. And then that little plug there is what plugs into the back of the telly. So going down this wire from that box to that little plug is 19 volts DC. So we just need to cut that cable there strip the wires back and then we'll connect that onto our new transformer that I'm going to show you now. Okay, so this is what we've purchased. It's a, called a buck converter, but basically it's a transformer. It takes a range of voltages on the input. So the red and black wires are the DC input from the battery. And we can see on the back here, oh, let me turn it up the right way. So its input is 12 volts nominally, but it will vary from 9 to 16 volts. So the voltage can vary on the input side. And then on the output side, it's 19 volts, 8 amps. So it's up to 152 watts. Um, so it's more than powerful enough to power the TV. As we saw earlier, the TV is only 26 watts. So this is uh, more than capable of doing that. So the red and black cables come from the 12 volt off the battery and the yellow and black cable is what we need to connect to the cable that goes to the TV. In the cupboard up here I've got a blade fuse holder which comes from the 12 volt DC system in the back of the van. That was the 230 volt mains that the TV was originally plugged into. So I'm now going to pick up a positive and negative off this blade fuse holder to the new transformer. So to connect this new transformer onto the blade fuse holder we're just going to simply use one of these little crimp connectors with a little fork on the end of it. I've got one already in my crimp tool here so just a case of inserting the wire into the back and then squeezing down on that. solid on there. Same with the other one. Same with the black. That's it. There. So that's the 12 volt DC input side. And then these two cables now we need to connect to that plug wire that goes to the back of the telly. 
Okay, so now we need to cut into this lead. This is where we need to connect on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of cable here so that if I do ever need to reconnect it back, you know, if I want to use it at home or anything like that, I've got the option to do that. So I'm not going to cut it right up here. I'm going to cut it down here somewhere. There's plenty of cable here. We had a load all coiled up, so I've got some spare. So cut through here. Now, when I strip this back, all I should find is two cables, if I'm lucky. Doesn't look like it though, does it? Oh dear. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, this is really weird. This is bit. This is like not two cables here. This I reckon this is a coaxial cable, cable within a cable. So let's just see what it's like. Yeah, just as I thought. So you see that outer sleeve in there. That will be the ground or that will be the, the negative and then this inner core this white that will be the positive so we need to connect onto this sheaving as the negative and the inner core here will be the positive so just for convenience and ease I'm going to just use one of these little connector blocks just to connect these together so put the positives in connect them together All right, that's the positives connected Right, okay, so that's the two spade connectors fitted to the transformer on the input side and then we've connected that lead that goes to the TV to the positive and the negative on the output side. I've just done that as a temporary measure. What I probably will do is solder those and heat shrink them eventually once I'm happy that it's all working okay. So I've got the red connected to the blade fuse holder and the black's connected, there's the new transformer just the output going through a hole that I've drilled in the side of the cupboard and then down to the TV so it just remains now to plug in this fuse now the TV only uses 26 watts which is a couple of amps that little transformer that came with it was slightly more than that so I'm actually just going to stick this 5 amp fuse in there um, so that should be fine, so this orange fuse, stick that in there that red light should go out which it does, that's it, which now means we've got power to the transformer we should have power to the TV, let's check it out okay so I can see that we've got a little blue light in the corner here let's just turn the TV on and there we go running direct off the batteries no inverter on and we've got Again, use of all of the other services, Netflix, all catch-up TV, and I can even watch YouTube. The TV is a smart TV, so it's hooked up to our internet. So here we go. Up comes YouTube. Sign into my account. Then we can watch all our favourite YouTubers. Oh look, David's got a video out. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. All works excellent. So now we can watch the TV direct off of our batteries without running our inverter. So there we go. Nice little simple modification, not too expensive. And that should save us some energy not having to run that inverter. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you like that, please do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel because if you want to see any more of my videos, you'll get a notification come up in your subscription list. I've got a playlist for the full build series of this van 
which there'll be a video pop up here and you can see that there's loads of useful information in there if you're building your own van and if you want to watch any of our tour videos there's also a link here as well go and watch some of those and that'll give you some ideas for when you've built your van and you want to get out on the road thanks very much for watching guys see you in the next video cheers <laughs>